Welcome! This LT SPICE video introduces voltage source setup, starting with how to place voltage sources onto a schematic three different ways. We'll set up and simulate a sine wave voltage source in time domain. We'll mention netlists and standard SPICE formats. We'll finish with AC analysis setup on a voltage source. Let's start by making the LT SPICE toolbar visible. Go to View and select Toolbar. Make a new schematic by clicking the first icon, a triangle that looks like a play button. The first way to place a voltage source on a schematic is to go to the AND gate looking icon on the right side of the toolbar. Click on the icon to bring up the Select Component Symbol window. Then in the search space, type V and O to select voltage. Click OK to start placement mode. Left click to place a voltage source on the schematic. Click the Escape key to end the voltage source placement mode. To delete this first voltage source, go to the toolbar and select the scissors icon for cut and click on the source schematic symbol. Click Escape to end the scissor delete mode. The second way to access the voltage source schematic symbol is through Edit Component. When the Select Component Symbol window appears, Move the slider to show voltage and click on voltage to select. Click OK to enter voltage source placement mode. Click Escape to end voltage source placement mode. The third way to place a voltage source is to use the hotkey V to enter voltage source placement mode. Left click to place the voltage source in the schematic. Click Escape to end the voltage source placement mode. To specify parameters and edit the voltage source, Right click on the source to bring up the voltage source dialog box. You can enter a DC voltage value and a series resistance. Click OK. Now we see the 5 volts and 0 0.01 ohms series resistance on the schematic. Right click again on the voltage source. This time click the Advanced button to bring up the Independent Voltage Source dialog window. Here we can remove the voltage specifications. Choose Sine to generate a 1 kilohertz sine wave. No DC offset. Make the amplitude 3 volts. Frequency 1 kilohertz, 1 E3. The rest of the terms are zero. Click OK to close the independent voltage source parameter specification window. Click on the running person looking icon to simulate. 
go to Window, Tile Vertically, click the Zoom to Fit icon with the red X across the magnifying glass. Click on the node VIN to plot the sine wave source voltage time domain signal. Notice in LT SPICE how there is only one voltage source component and schematic symbol. By comparison, the QUIX simulator has different schematic symbols for different types of voltage sources. Like many other SPICE-based simulators, there is a netlist behind the graphics of the LT SPICE simulator. To view the LT SPICE circuit netlist, go to the toolbar and under View, select SPICE netlist. The netlist has a line for each circuit element. Capacitor C1, resistor R1, and voltage source V1. Because many circuit simulators are based on Berkeley SPICE source code, the voltage source syntax is standard among many different SPICE based simulators. For circuit theory analysis of sine wave amplitude and phase in reactive circuits, please see this book, First and Second Order Circuits and Equations, available from John Wiley and Sons. There is a link in the video description. Now let's switch gears and set up the AC source for an AC analysis. Here we have the same basic RC circuit driven by a voltage source. But notice how we have an AC analysis specified instead of a transient analysis. Right click in the schematic on the AC analysis command to show the edit simulation command menu. The AC analysis tab is selected. Notice the AC command syntax down near the bottom. Going back to the voltage source, right click to see the parameters. Notice the AC amplitude and AC phase set to 1 and 0. These specifications support the AC analysis we see in the schematic. The sine function that we specified for time domain analysis is not used here. We can set functions to none and still get our AC analysis. Here's what the netlist looks like for this circuit with an AC analysis and a voltage source set up for AC analysis. Now let's run the simulation. Plot the signal V of V out. Tile vertically. This is the small signal linear frequency domain response. Thank you for watching and learning with us.